Hi and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamara Ferlansky. And I'm John Hamilton. We may be a few days late, but we want to say Happy New Year. Instead of resolutions, we thought we'd kick off 2010 with the latest in news and education. I have a feeling 2010 will be a good one, full of exciting developments for the print industry. You know, I think you're right, John. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we'll tell you about a few new offerings, but first, your top stories. A new white ink proofing technology from Epson. The IT Color for 2010. And we take a look at education in action. This cast is proudly brought to you by NAPL Top Management Conference 2010. Let's get down to business. It's a new way of printing with the color white thanks to its all new contract quality proofing system. Epson America hopes to dramatically improve how packaging mock-ups and proofs are produced. Epson says the Epson Stylus Pro WT7900 uses the world's first aqueous-based white ink printing technology and the latest achievements in high-resolution inkjet technology. Designed specifically for proofing flexographic and gravure print jobs requiring the color white, the Epson Stylus Pro WT7900 uses the Epson Ultra Chrome HDR white ink, which introduces an all-new organic hollow resin particle technology. This forces light to randomly scatter, producing the illusion of seeing the color white. This innovative approach results in an extremely high white ink density, as well as the ability for custom white color toning. It also provides professional short-term color stability for mission-critical color proofing on a range of new substrates, including ink, jet, coated transparent, and metallic films. Unlike traditional white ink chemistry, Epson Ultra Chrome HDR White Ink is a safer water-based resin particle void of any known carcinogens. The Epson Stylus Pro WT7900 will be available through authorized Epson resellers in February 2010 for around $8,500. Check out www.proimaging.epson.com for all the details. Mitsubishi Lithographic Presses, a subsidiary of Tokyo-based Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, or MHI, recently announced plans to establish a new company dedicated to advancing its printing and paper converting machinery business starting July 1st. New Mitsubishi printing presses sold in North America, Central America, and Mexico by MLP USA all originate within MHI's paper and printing machinery division. MHI will integrate the division's manufacturing operations into the sales and service apparatus of its printing and paper converting machinery sales company. The company says MHI saw the dramatic changes in the global economic climate as an opportunity to implement even more dynamic strategies for product development and localized marketing. By dedicating resources to this area of business, the new company will be able to respond precisely to today's diversified customer need and expand the Mitsubishi brand in emerging markets. The new company will handle all business activities associated with Mitsubishi sheet fed, commercial web and newspaper presses, as well as paper converting and box making machinery. It will also be responsible for design, manufacture, procurement, marketing, quality assurance and after sales service. Talk about making a splash. Pantone has a name Pantone 155519 Turquoise, its color of the year for 2010. The company says in many cultures, turquoise occupies a very special position in the world of color. Leatrist Eisman, executive director of the Pantone Color Institute, says the color is believed to be a protective talisman, a color of deep compassion and healing, and a color of faith and truth inspired by water and sky. Through years of color word association studies, we also find that turquoise represents an escape to many, taking them to a tropical paradise that is pleasant and inviting, if only a fantasy. I'm Steve Johnson, Johnson's World columnist for American Printer and a digital printing company owner. You know, print volumes are down. Everything says that we're running out of work to do. I don't think that's true for a minute. And it doesn't have to be for each one of us if we work to increase the value of the print that we produce. That means instead of bringing more volume into the shop, mindless work that anyone can do, we should work to increase the value of each piece that we put out. Instead of producing a thousand flyers for our customers, how about if we produce a hundred or one on demand with zero spoilage, zero obsolescence, zero waste? The value of that flyer is much higher than the bulk that we'd be doing. We can charge better profit margins and we've served our customers better. 
GAERF and Skills USA have established a partnership to offer online Print Ed Skills USA Skill Connect assessments. This will provide students with a credential and help meet standard government education requirements. Five assessments are offered, including advertising and design, digital file preparation and digital file output, graphic communication, offset press operations and binding and finishing, and screen printing. These assessments will test technical skills and knowledge with interactive questions enriched by animations, videos, drawings, and photographs. American printer columnist Brian Regan says, Without question, every industry needs a steady supply of talented workers. The various organizations and schools with programs focused on graphic communications is the industry's lifeline for future workers. Keeping up with technology and the need for streamlined process to gain industry credentials is a vital step. Thus, we applaud GAERF for the efforts to make this partnership a reality. The online assessments are in development now and looks to be a very exciting addition to the credential process. For a closer look at the program, take a look at the demo at the address on the bottom of the player. Can the word fun and laser die cutting be used in the same sentence? If you ask Southern Coding and Nameplate, the answer is a resounding yes. As the first North American user of Spartanic's fine cut hybrid roll sheet laser die cutting machine, Southern Coding and Nameplate was impressed with its five times faster high precision die cutter and also found it to be fun to operate. The die cutter features web speeds of up to 100 plus meters per minute and can cut to print registration to within plus or minus 0.1 millimeter. Software features include on the fly changeovers, quick job reloads and the ability to control the laser beam for defect free cutting. Now if you want to see the full video highlighting the printer's laser die cutting capabilities, visit southerncoding.com. Now, Tamara, you're a fan of the show The Office, right? You know, I'm not even going to lie. I wish I worked for Dunder Mifflin sometimes, so yeah, I'm a fan. Well, you're not the only one. I believe a few people even think their company reminds them of the show. You know, Richard's Graphic Communications falls into that category. The Chicago area printer serves the financial, healthcare, legal, manufacturing, and packaging markets, just to name a few. Someone at Richard's is obviously a huge fan of the popular show. This clever video gently parodies the opening credits of The Office while including Richard's staff. Take a look. I think the only person missing is Michael Scott. <laughs> Here at American Printer, we want to find out a little more about you, our viewer, by asking a question. This cast, we want to know what trade show will you attend this year? Graphics of the America, On Demand, Graph Expo, or all of the above? Simply check off your answer to the left of our screen, and we'll see you next time.